Hey, good morning, guys. Charles Williams here from CW Consulting with another episode of Parking Lot Thoughts, Quarantine Edition, clearly not in the car. Um, so this thought is actually in that vein. Uh, not too long ago, I talked about positivity and disruption. Um, and so, you know, it, it's very easy to get caught up in all the drama and all the craziness that's happening, but we need to find those pieces of positivity throughout this. And so this morning, I was watching the news and there was this segment about parents going crazy trying to keep their kids uh, entertained, trying to keep them occupied, uh, trying to teach them during this lockdown. And I was trying not to chuckle. Now, don't get me wrong, right? I'm a parent too, but it was kind of interesting watching that and, and watching it from the viewpoint of an educator. Now, I'm sure there's plenty of you educators out there that are going to applaud this one. Maybe not so many parents, but it's the reality of the situation, right? I, I want those parents to take a moment and to think about how we as educators are when we have your children for eight hours a day. And it's not just your children, but it is 29 other kids in that classroom. And we are tasked with doing much of the same things, right? We can't just say go out and play. We can't say go to your room. We can't say those things because we have those kids, 30 kids for eight hours a day. And we are tasked with entertaining, with educating, and all of those things. Not too long ago, I saw a Twitter post of a mom said that she was homeschooling her two young ones, and she believes that teachers should make a billion dollars a year, if not a week. And I chuckled, right? So again, it, it's this idea, I hope, if nothing else, that there's just a heightened sense of appreciation for the work that we do. Now, I know there, this whole coronavirus is highlighting many of those things, right? My hats go off to the healthcare workers, all the first responders, but I'm not in those shoes, so I cannot speak to that. But instead, I want to talk about how this is impacting education, and that is what I'm seeing. That I hope that there is an appreciation for the work that we do on a daily basis, because it is not easy. It is not, uh, you know, people talk about, oh, you, you, it's an eight to three job. You get weekends, you get summers. Um, but the reality is, is that we put in work for those eight hours trying to make sure that kids are entertained, making sure that kids are engaged, making sure that kids are learning. So if nothing else, hopefully that some appreciation comes out, not asking for a billion dollars a year, um, but some pay raises wouldn't be bad. Uh, so just something to think about today and moving forward as we get back into the swing of things at some point. Love your teachers, educators. We're all in the same boat here, supporting one another. Take care. I'll see you guys tomorrow.